the passage is clear. He chose me, and if you're a believer, he chose you too, before anything was created. Now, can I explain that? No. We believe that by faith. The second thing here is salvation is clearly seen as a good thing. That good thing should lead to worship inside us. We ought to be thankful. The third thing here is that salvation is more than God just saving us. He's actually growing us. Romans chapter 8 verse 29 tells us that, that he has predestined us to be conformed to the image of his son. He's going to grow us. The fourth thing is that salvation is also a sure thing. Paul makes it clear that God will bring it to completion. God will finish what he has started. But here's the bottom line. As a Christ follower, and I don't want you to let yourself off the hook here. If you have trusted in Jesus Christ, you are a Christ follower. Your identity has got to match up with God's agenda, his plan. I'm gonna ask you to do something different this week. Would you examine who you think you are? Does it fit with God's agenda for your life? If it does, praise God. You ought to be discipling people. If it doesn't, change. Ask God to change you, change your desires, your heart, that you would wanna be the man or the woman that God has called you to be.